Okay, let's make a jack-o'-lantern. For this, or a pumpkin, for this we need two orange 260s, a little um, stem piece, like about an inch and a half bubble of a spring green one for the stem or whatever color green stem you want to use, and an inch and a half white bubble for the eyes, a piece of a 260. So one spring green, one white 260, and two orange 260s. And to get started, we're gonna inflate an orange 260 the whole entire way, but let a nice puff of air out of it because we're gonna start to make a six petal flower. So what you wanna do is tie these ends together. I right, like this. Let me tell you real quick before we go any farther about this other orange one. We only need part of it and about probably this much and then we're gonna pop and tie that off. So maybe inflate it to about um, an eight inch tail. So all inflated but an eight inch tail. Let it puff the air out before you tie it. And let's go back to this one, inflate it the whole way and tie it at the end. And we're gonna start to make what looks like a six petal flower. So separate it with your thumbs and flip this in like that. And then this will be folded in three equal parts like this. Try to get these about the same size. Twist this, bend this down so you have something that looks like this. This one's a little short. Yeah, we twist that. That's better. So you have like this, but you are not going to twist it into a flower. We're going to flip this over. We're just going to flip one section through like this and then take this up and pull it over like that and then just kind of tuck it in and then you want to flatten it out like that. So sometimes I'll take, if I'm just going to do a pumpkin like this, I'll take a little piece of um, like a I'll take a little five inch orange round one and just blow it up a little bit, tuck it in there just to fill that hollow space. And then I just wrap the knot around up here where all this other knotted stuff is. I'm gonna wrap this around just so it's tighter. So we have something that looks like this and then you wanna take your stem, your one and a half inch stem. You can tulip twist it, but I'm just gonna tie it if you have time to tulip twist it, you can do that, but I think it looks just fine like this. So I'm gonna inflate or yeah, tie it off right up above here and uh, cut it off above the knot right there. So tie it and cut it off above the knot. Take the other end and wrap it around like this. You don't have to tie it unless you think the kid's gonna pull it off. Just Take these other pieces and tuck them into the pumpkin. And now I'll show you what I do. Well, let's make eyes first. Let's separate this one in half. Bring these two ends up and tie it. I like to put these little pumpkins on sticks and pass them out. So I have this where I tied it up above and now I'm gonna split it in half, make two pinch twists and tie it. Pull one balloon down this way and one up this way and tie it together to split that. And then let this little knot piece out and pull this up and cut it. So that's chopped off. And now these are my little eyes, but I'm also gonna show you, if you're just gonna leave it like this, how I draw the face on. And then I'll flip it to the other side and show you how to add um, this orange part. So this is optional right here, but it makes a really cute pumpkin. So for this one that I just draw on, I'm gonna make two triangles, one here and one over here, and draw little circles in them. And then draw a little triangle here for the nose, and then 
little teeth like this. So I've done it that way. Let me show you another way I've done it. Another way you can do it if you like it better. Flip these in. Just to show you, I've drawn it all on this one. So the eyes aren't so far apart. And you can draw little eyebrows on too if you want to do it that way. And then I draw little circles in here. So that's another way to do it. And then another way I really like to do it is by taking this other orange 260 and making a little one inch bubble and then two one inch bubbles, cherry tomato size and pinch twist them. These will be the eyebrows. Pinch twist those and make another one inch bubble and then another one inch bubble and pinch twist that. That will be the nose. And then a one inch bubble and another one inch bubble for the bottom lip, pinch twist that, and then one more one inch bubble, so a bunch of one inch bubbles. One inch bubble, two one inch bubbles, and pinch twist them, a one inch bubble, another one inch bubble, and pinch twist it, another one inch bubble, and another one inch bubble, and pinch twist it, and then another one inch bubble. And then the rest of this is gonna get cut and tied off. Like that. So, tie that. And then these eyes are gonna go right under these two eyelids, right here. And I'm just gonna wrap them around like that. And you can position them however you want and draw little pupils in. I am so sorry, my dog decided to chew a bone and it's really noisy, so if you hear something, that's what it is. So here's my pumpkin's face, or jack-o'-lantern's face, and I'm going to, before I put this on, I'm just gonna cut part of this off because that's really long and I only need a tiny little piece here and here to tie it in. So I'm gonna go up here and wrap this around right here and bring it through. You don't have to tie it on, I'm just gonna wrap it around just to show you. And then, tuck this down and take this piece through here and just wrap it around like this and then just kind of tuck everything together. You can tuck it in so it, it looks good. And this is the little jack-o'-lantern with a separate little face piece and sometimes I'll pre-make these little face pieces if I know I'm going to be busy. And then I just pull like pre-made eyes out, pre-made stems, and pre-made little, these little face parts and just throw them in. So it looks like I spent a long time on it, which I did, because I did it at home, but I have them pre-made, which makes things go a lot faster. And this is a little pumpkin. And you can put an orange one inside there and fill that out if you want to, but it's not really necessary. And here you go.